now going to start with the last portion of this chapter and that is soap and detergent okay so till now we've discussed about hydrocarbons about types of hydrocarbons we've discussed about organic chemistry we've discussed about things like which are the basics but now we're going to go into a very important application of all of this and that is soap and detergent now soap is something we use every day everyone uses soap every day right and it is a very very essential chemical of our daily life we all know that soap is formed with the use of certain bases and soap is basic in nature and it is formed with the use of bases such as sodium hydroxide okay sodium hydroxide uh, with potassium hydroxide okay so etc etc we form a lot of uh, chemicals we use a lot of chemicals in the production of soap as well as detergents right detergents is also are also basic in nature we use many chemicals to make detergents as well right like sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide but now let us look at soap and detergent you know in a more detailed way let us have a look at what is soap and what is detergent and we're going to study the cleaning action of soap in specific so let's start off so soap let's start off with soap i'm going to start with soap now soap is basically basically it is a sodium salt sodium salt of higher fatty acid sodium salt of higher fatty acid right now fatty acid is basically a class of carboxylic acids okay it is a particular class of carboxylic acids and you'll learn more about fatty acids in your higher classes but fatty acids is basically a class of carboxylic acids and higher fatty acids means it has more than 11 carbon atoms it has more than 11 carbon atoms so sodium salt of higher fatty acid that is a very long chain fatty acid long chain carboxylic acid and it has more than 11 carbon atoms in the chain right so if we try to draw the structure now right the structure of soap it is something like this okay and then we form a carbon linked to oxygen and then linked to o minus na plus this is the structure of soap okay this is the structure so again not in your textbook but a very good way to explain it so this is the structure of soap okay now this part right this part which is the long chain this part together with this carbon is called the hydrocarbon part okay it is called the hydrocarbon portion or hydrocarbon part okay and this hydrocarbon part is hydro hydrophobic it is hydrophobic that is it is water repelling water repelling it repels water right it is hydrophobic right so this is the structure of the soap molecule which has two parts first is the hydrocarbon part which is hydrophobic that is it is scared of water phobic means to be scared so it is water repelling it is scared of water and it repels water and this o minus and na plus part this part here okay it is called the ionic portion okay it is the ionic portion and this portion is hydrophilic it is hydrophilic and it is waterphilic means to love so we say it is water loving or water attracting okay it is water attracting so these are the two parts of a soap molecule the hydrocarbon part which is hydrophobic and then we have the ionic part which is hydrophilic okay so this is the thing with the soap now if you look at a general soap molecule it can be seen like this okay it has a head and there is a tail kind of structure okay now this head is your ionic part okay it is your ionic portion as i told you this ionic portion and it is usually of sodium so we usually take an na plus right it is usually a sodium head usually of sodium right so usually it is of sodium and it carries the ion uh, sodium ions right it is usually the sodium ion because sodium ion is the ionic part right 
<clears throat> so it's usually the sodium ion. And this tail is the what? It is the hydrocarbon part or hydrocarbon portion. Right? So it is basically your hydrophobic, right? It repels water. Right? So this is the basic structure of a soap molecule. This is the detailed structure of the soap molecule. Okay. Now, how does soap work? Now let's study the cleaning action of soap. cleaning action of soap okay now cleaning action of soap now how does soap actually work so when you dissolve soap in water okay when soap is put into water what basically happens is that this soap molecules they go and dissolve in water right so soap molecules that's the first step soap molecules dissolve in water Okay, so they're going to dissolve in water, right? And once they're going to dissolve in water, after that, the soap molecules will arrange themselves around dust particles and dirt particles. Now, arrange themselves. Arrange themselves around dirt and oil particles. Okay, so they're going to basically arrange themselves in a particular fashion around dirt and oil particles, right? And they're going to form structures called missiles. Form structures called missiles. M-I-C-E-E, -E, sorry, C-E-L-L-E-S, missiles. They're going, they are going to form structures called missiles which are basically soap molecules arranged around dust and oil particles, right? So how does the missile formation take place? Let us see in a bit of detail. So let us assume that I, that I have an oil or dust particle right here, okay? This is my oil or dust particle, okay? Now, around this, my soap molecules are going to arrange themselves, right? So let us now see. They're going to arrange themselves in such a way that the hydrocarbon part is going to dissolve in the in the oil part in the oil or dirt particle okay the hydrocarbon part is going to dissolve in the oil and dirt particle because obviously it is hydrophobic it is not going to dissolve in water so it will dissolve in the dirt particle or in the oil particle whereas the ionic part which is the head it is going to dissolve in water because it is water attracting it is in love with water hydrophilic so the head will be outside okay it will be dissolved in water whereas the hydrocarbon part is going to dissolve in the oil or the dirt so many such soap molecules will arrange themselves like that okay more will be there So, in this way, you can see that the tail, the hydrophilic, hydrophobic tail is dissolving in the dirt, whereas the hydrophilic head is sticking out, okay, out of the missile. So, this is how the missile is going to form, right? Now, let's just label the things. This is the dirt and these are the soap molecules. Now you can see that all these are going to be ionic heads, right? We know that because the heads are ionic and they are going to be water attracting. They are going to be hydrophilic. So these are all sodium heads, okay? Sodium ions, heads with sodium ions, right? So Na plus, Na plus and Na plus. Right? So these are all going to be the heads and these are going to be the hydrocarbon parts which are not going to dissolve in water but are going to dissolve in the dust particles. And these missiles, many such missiles will form and together many missiles will form an emulsion in water. Okay, together many missiles are going to form an 
emulsion in water that is it is going to be a mixture a kind of colloidal solution in water right so these are all going to arrange themselves around the dust particles right so this is the formation of missiles in uh, because of the action of soap now how does it actually clean so when finally water passes through this right when water is going to pass through this what is going to happen is that this sodium particles the sodium heads these hydrophilic heads are going to attract the water molecules and along with this missile the whole thing will get washed away right so this missile is formed this is the missile formation so this is the missile and this missile is going to be washed away by the action of water okay when water comes and the sodium ions are going to attract the water ultimately it is going to wash away the dust particles the dirt particles and ultimately the missile will be washed away in the foam hence there will be cleaning action of uh, cleaning action because of soap right so i hope that's absolutely clear to all of you that is what we call cleaning action of soaps right so that is with your soap now from soap we come to the next thing now what are the disadvantages of soap well i explain what are, what is soap and how it works etc etc but this soap if suppose we take some kind of water which has many calcium and magnesium ions which is called hard water so if you take hard water okay hard water which is water containing water containing many calcium and magnesium ions and magnesium ions right so if water contains calcium and magnesium ions in a large quantity then soap cannot work soap cannot work the action of soap won't be possible in hard water because the soap molecules the soap molecules are going to react with the ions the calcium and magnesium ions they're going to react with them and they are going to form insoluble substances insoluble substances which we call scum okay so this is what is going to be formed right so soap cannot work in hard water right which contains many calcium and magnesium ions and salts so in case of hard water what can we do that is where we come up with the concept of detergent now let us come to detergent right now what is detergent actually so let's give the new heading detergent so we are done with soap now we come to detergent now detergent is basically slightly different than soap right it is a sodium or potassium salt sodium or potassium salt of higher sulfonic acid higher sulfonic acid now again sulfonic acid is a is a class of um, your uh, carboxylic acids okay and again higher means more than 11 carbon atoms so it is a sodium or potassium salt of a higher sulfonic acid and in your textbook it mentions sulfonate uh, as sulfonate or am ammonium salts or sulfonate salts it's pretty much the same thing so this is what we call detergent it is a sodium or potassium salt of higher sulfonic acid you can also say sulfonate or ammonium salts okay so this actually as compared to soaps detergents are biodegradable detergents are to a large extent biodegradable right that's the first advantage the second is that detergents can work in hard water unlike soaps so they can work in hard water as well right so this is these are some of the advantages of detergents right let us have a look at the structure of a detergent okay although the cleaning action is, is pretty much same we need to look at the structure once so the structure is slightly different this time basically there's a you know benzene ring kind of structure and we have discussed benzene ring before there is some kind of a benzene ring kind of structure and to this you attach an so3 minus na plus right 
So this is pretty much the structure. Okay, it's not like this. So pretty much this is the structure. Okay, if you look into more like this, pretty much this is the structure of the detergent molecule. Okay, structure of detergent. So this again, I'll mention this part is your hydrocarbon part. Okay, and this part is your ionic part. And the cleaning action is pretty much same. The only difference is that here soap is, uh, unlike soap, it is biodegradable and it works well in hard water as well, right? Because uh, the calcium and magnesium ions, they don't really affect the action of your detergents, right? So detergents are much cleaner, much better and much more efficient as compared to soap. Right. So with this, we conclude this chapter of carbon and its compounds. Thank you very much for joining me with this. We have concluded this chapter. If you still have any doubt, it is most welcome in the comment section below. Thank you very much for joining me in the series of carbon and its compounds. And I wish you all the best for your board examinations. And I hope this video modules have helped you uh, to really grasp the concepts. And although this chapter, you know, chemistry doesn't hold much of weightage in SA2, but still it is a very, very important chapter in chemistry and in organic chemistry and study of chemistry in general. So I hope you're absolutely clear about the concepts. If you have any kind of doubt, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Stay healthy, stay smart, and do keep studying. Bye-bye.